In a way, I've learned not to talk certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good men, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Cause without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kinda... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. How about that? Expected Geralt might have, but you? Eskel, Eskel, still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? Think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never. Jumped out a lover's window. That's so. <laughs> Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. Right. Man. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. And vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went. To get food. All right. I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Lambert. Listen, you... You got a problem with me? Me? What? Why would you say that? Well, just seems that way. You know, you're a little like my little brother. Dumb and annoying, but a brother. Geralt, damn it, you're gonna make me cry. Come here! Damn, broke. Good thing it was empty. Huh? Where's Esco? Should've been back by now. We gotta look around. This is a job for Vesemir! Narayan, take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered, I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! Esco, you drunk! Get out here! Spilled some wine, and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that? If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked.
Esco, you drunk! Get out here! Esco, chop, chop! Esco! 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 Esco, chop, chop. Esco, Esco, Esco. Hey, you hear that? It sounded like panting of a wounded wyvern. Damn it, we missed a fight. Uh-huh. Eskel's close. I think he... I think he hurt himself. What's one scar, more or less, in his case? Makes no difference as I see it. Eskel, chop, chop! Hey, look. There he is. With his ever-faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? What happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Let me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert. You're a genius. Of course I am. So? We inviting the lodge to our bash? Fuck yeah! Summon the bitches! All right. How's this work? Well, twist here, turn there, and you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. I know. Yennefer's clothes. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Stop whining, Eskel. Times you gotta squeeze into some fr 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 frippery. Ugh. We don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. Sure brought a lot of crap. You'd think she was moving in. Shh. You'll scare Geralt.
Yes, perfect. Like it was made for you. Sure. As soon as I let it out a bit in the waist. Stop talking. Get dressed. Not that one. Won't compliment your complexion. Damn, Eskel. You got an hourglass figure. And you're an ass. Come on, go. Things tight as hell. Now, I'll do the talking. You two fiddle with the crystals. Camille blood de toi. Hocus pocus, I break a dab splatter. What is this? Who's that? So sorry. We were never here. Guards! Blue paper, Excellency! Eh? No, you oaf. The lodge, the lodge has come for me. <laughs> I trust you have an explanation for this. A very good one. Go to bed. Now. What a dream. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm. And reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of... What's the term? Uh, relaxed consciousness. He behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. <sighs> Must be 50 years since I last saw Sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Sure. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait. Why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, chop chop! You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? 